So we were uh, tasked with uh, essentially loading the largest launch vehicle ever built by NASA in history uh, safely uh, with liquid oxygen. We started uh, planning this test program about three years ago. Uh, we started by doing a water development test um, and we learned a lot in that test. This is the, the first time that we've, we've built a test article just like this. It's very unique to any other uh, lock system on a launch vehicle ever built. It's different than Saturn, it's different than Delta, it's different than shuttle, and so there's a lot of unique things we needed to learn. Today was our 12th day of testing. We have a total of around 20 test days for our entire test program. The test program was designed to make sure that we had all of the possibilities, all the variables enveloped, things like ambient temperatures, uh, failures of uh, bleed valves on the engines, failures of helium injection, facility failures where we lose supply supply of liquid oxygen. We've spent a lot of time in that realm and, and failing certain things that could fail and make sure that we have the right control knobs on and in place to maintain the system safety. The, the timeline to fill a vehicle this size is on the order of you know three or four hours. Once it's filled, we'll sit for a number of hours for things like waiting for the system to actually stabilize, uh, waiting for astronauts to board and, and other subsystems to get ready. Uh, once you get closer to, to launch time, there's about a, a 10 minute window where you go into your launch countdown and that's when you're closing off the subsystems from the facility, isolating them. So this test program really demonstrates every little step along that entire timeline to make sure that we have uh, a good understanding of the system behavior, that everything's safe. And that's what building the rocket is all about, is taking all of those complex pieces, putting them all together, and being able to then go test our operations to have a successful launch of the largest rocket that's ever been built.